If you've ever played your electric guitar unplugged and found that it's just not as loud or doesn't sustain as well as some other guitars that you've played, then you might be losing some sound inside of a sloppy neck pocket and it's definitely affecting your tone. The good news is that I've found a really cheap and easy way to fix a sloppy neck pocket. I'm Dan, this is Guns of Guitars, and I'm gonna show you how right now. This do-it-yourself hack applies to any bolt-on neck for a guitar or bass, whether it's factory-made or a custom build that you're doing from parts or a kit. If you've noticed any gaps between your neck and body contact area, then there's a good chance that you're losing some resonance and sustain due to vibration loss in the air pockets between your neck and body. To fix this, we're gonna need to do two things. One, we're gonna need to remove material from the base of the neck cavity so that it perfectly contours the base of our guitar's neck. And two, we're gonna need to add material to the side of the cavity so that we get a nice snug fit when we're ready to slide our neck in. Starting out with number one, align the neck with the longer side of the neck pocket and trace the contour of the neck slightly overlapping the existing neck pocket. We want to take off as little material as possible here, so only overlap your trace by a hair. Then carefully remove the material that you traced off, just a little at a time, checking frequently to ensure a perfect fit. I used my Dremel on the lowest setting for this, but it can be done with basic wood files or sandpaper if you're patient enough. Once you've got your perfect fit, and assuming you traced correctly with your neck aligned with the longer side, you'll see a small gap still on the short side of the neck pocket. This is where we're gonna need to add material for a tighter fit. So moving on to step two, we're gonna need to pick up some scrap wood from our local craft shop. Now this particular body is made of base wood, so I bought a really thin 1 32nd sheet of base wood at my local craft shop for about two or three bucks. Now if your guitar's body is made of maple or ash or other choice woods, then you're gonna need to find a veneer. Veneer basically just means a really thin sheet of wood. Now you might be able to find a veneer at your craft shop, but more than likely you're gonna have to order it online, and it should be available in a similar thickness. As you can see, 1 seconds is the perfect size for my gap, but if your gap is larger, just buy a thicker size, then send it back for a perfect fit if you need to. Place the scrap along the shorter side of the neck pocket that you're filling, and again, trace the contour. Man, this is really embarrassing watching myself on camera. Seriously, am I drunk or something? Okay, since our scrap veneer is so thin, I've actually found the best way to cut the shape is with ordinary craft scissors. Once your shape is cut out, add a small dab of wood glue and stick it in place. Wipe off any excess glue and hold it in place for a minute or two while the glue dries. After the glue has set for its full cure time, sand off any excess material to perfectly match the contour of your body. Now, test fit your neck. As you can see here, mine was a perfectly tight fit first try. Now, if you ended up that your neck pocket is now too tight, then you need to lightly sand, and I mean lightly sand that piece that you just glued in, or you can sand the side of the neck itself. But again, check frequently for that perfectly snug fit. Now, if you're satisfied, you can go ahead and stop right here. But there's one more trick that I like to do to make sure that the neck and body squeeze as tightly together as possible. And that's adding these 45 degree angle support screws to the neck and body. Now, this is a feature that you'll only see on really high-end boutique guitars and basses. And I actually get a lot of flack from other luthiers for doing this step because they think that it's pointless or that it's gonna ruin the guitar or something. But a really good example Example of this being done is the Billy Sheehan Signature Attitude Bass. And it's a feature that's becoming more and more popular these days. Even Yamaha is starting to incorporate it on some of their lower end factory basses. Now the point of this mod is to seat the neck into the body cavity as tightly as possible. Now this probably isn't a literal 45 degrees, it's just an estimate. But what we're doing here is putting screws in at a very deep angle that's gonna pull the neck into the bottom corner of the cavity, therefore seating it as tightly in as possible. Another byproduct of these screws is you get extra support so you can do really heavy neck bends without fear of stripping out your neck screws. The extra screws will also help transmit vibration from the neck to the body, therefore increasing sustain. At least that's the theory anyway. How much does it actually help? No idea. But I think it's cool and the theory makes sense, so I put this feature on every guitar or bass that I built. And it certainly can't hurt, so no harm done if it doesn't do anything at all. So why not? Okay, so to do this mod, first drill some holes angled through the base of the neck pocket. Sometimes I use a jig like this to make sure the holes are exactly the same angle, and sometimes I just eyeball it. After that, flip the guitar over and countersink your holes so that your screw heads can hide. Then send your screws through and check to make sure they aren't too long. You don't want them to go all the way through to your fretboard. 
I like to use these self-drilling deck screws, which have a Torx head on them. It's easier to screw these in at an angle without fear of stripping them out. Now I typically use inch and 5 8 screws for guitars and 2 and a half inch screws for basses, but it can vary based on the maker model or even the angle at which I drill the holes. So it's always important to double check after you drill to make sure your screws aren't too long because you really don't want them to break through to your fretboard. Now remove your screws and place your neck in the pocket. Flip the guitar back over and then drill some small pilot holes back through the holes in the body and into the neck. Next, you're ready to screw in your neck. Tighten the screws as much as you can and sand the area for a cleaner look. Lastly, install the other four neck screws. And now your neck to body contact is as tight as it can possibly be and your tone and sustain should be similar to a set neck or a neck through design. Now if you liked watching this mod, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more guitar and bass modding tips, tricks, and hacks. I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars, thanks for watching.